This is my life. This is my life. So, you know, if you were available, first of all, and then so work out, you know, pricing and stuff like that. I got invited to Antigua and I'm a little scared to go, but I'm really excited because I think it's going to be a really cool experience and just a chance for me to like live out my faith in real life. Well, what, when is it? This is in October. So it would be the week of, the actual show is the 13th. October 13th. So it would be from the 8th. When people reach out to me to book me, I kind of wonder why they're reaching out to me. I'm like, how did you like hear about me? But I do get really uh, happy. I think that it's good to know that people want to invite you places. I only really go anywhere because of word of mouth. Um, yeah, I mean, that sounds amazing. That's a part of like, you know, what I, what I believe I'm called to do, you know, just to kind of spread all of the love. I'm just hoping that people know what they're gonna get because um, I really just try to be led by the spirit and not try to like fabricate anything. I mean, that sounds amazing. I would definitely want to do the stuff like where we're, you know, feeding folks and being on the ground. I, I want to do that. Um, okay. So, yeah, this is so cool. So actually I got this phone call on the way to go get food with Savy and my mom. And so we were on our way back and yeah, I got this call to go to Antigua. So that's why I thought of you. Because okay. I love those, the type of worship experience you bring. Um, so that's why like, I'm more like, I need Naomi to come to do that. I think she knew. I went to sleep. Where does Kara, oh. There's school tomorrow. No, there's not. Why isn't there oh, school tomorrow? Memorial Day weekend. What? Yeah, that's they have. Why we're it, right, we never got off. Right? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that's why she's at. Oh, maybe, I already told mommy. Maybe your mom and dad. I mean, you didn't. Nobody me. told me there was no school tomorrow. Um, I didn't. I, I mean, I you guys, you. what in the world uh, was I, I gonna do? You. I am a jokester. I joke a lot with my kids. I discipline them, but I want them to always know that I love them and that it's like nothing is ever like too serious. How would I know? Y'all don't bring anything home. You said it's Thursday. It's yes, it's Thursday. Thursday. So why would you be going to somebody's house? No, you Daddy's yelling at no. tomorrow. Y'all, you didn't tell me that. Daddy's yelling no now. Huh? Daddy's yelling no now. No. Why? Because there's no school tomorrow. Right. They know when we're serious, but um, yeah, it was a surprise to find out that they didn't have school, and I didn't even know. Now that is Daddy off tomorrow? No. Is he off on Saturday? But I'm gonna ask that. What in the Wait, world? We're off on Monday too. That means I know where I know. I'm gonna I'm going down to Maryland on Monday. Because I have to sing. Because I'm a singer. He said he's off Monday. Hello all, I'm Jermaine. I'm Naomi's husband and father of our three beautiful children. Gone, that's what I know. No no trips. I'm glad I didn't go anywhere. When I go away, I try to prep the kids more emotionally now than physically. When I first used to go away, it used to be like I would prepare meals, I would make sure everything was taken care of, and kind of just not really tell the kids everything about where I was going. Now I'm more so like, hey, mommy's leaving. I tell them like weeks in advance, this is where I'm going, this is what I'm doing, this is how it's gonna happen, um, and make sure that they're good emotionally. What, Samia? Yeah, I'm working, baby. Are you off on Saturday? Wait, Nima, you want it to be right here? Yes, you are. You got to shape up? I used to travel with music, and I didn't know the extent of how Naomi felt when I left. And then I guess I found out firsthand when she started to travel. I, got, no, I, got the I need to I get... Got so because you went to a funeral, you got to shape up? Yeah. It's, the funeral is not a, an occasion to um, get, get nice. Go, they got to come with me tomorrow. You, 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 you I'm home. not going. They never sent me my ticket and stuff, so I'm not going to that thing. Okay. I need to stay home. Yes. I'll be out all night. No, you won't. You will not be out all night. No, you won't. Got the funeral, and then I got the, um, <laughs> We actually sent calendars, so now 
I know in advance um, what she has going on, and, and on a week by week basis, I may look at the calendar and say, "All right, you're going to be going this day, that day, and that day," and then I'll try and set up my work schedule around her schedule, or I'll, if I can't move my date, I call up, you know, call on my, my mother-in-law or a, f a close family friend and um, try to get help with the kids. Stay a while. <laughs> <laughs> put your, you put your helios in oven? No. Nope. Let me pray and see what the Lord says about you going to Kira's house. Uh -oh. What he answers. Uh-oh. I'll tell you. I think he's going to But you better pray first before I pray. <laughs> hey, I was getting ready to say, I'm going to pray too. Yeah, you pray first, and you let me know what he says. Then I'll I'll check your answer. I'll check your work. Yeah. yeah. Don't you know you're going fun. to something better? You're gonna have fun. Hey. More fun. That's rude. No, you're going to something better. No, it's rude to our other school. No, it's not rude. <laughs> yeah, it's rude to say to them. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, let's say you have five dollars, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. You have five dollars in your hand. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I want to take you to the next level. That's single digits, right? I want to take you to the ten. That's better. It doesn't mean that five dollars is worth nothing. Yeah. It's just better. No, it's really good. Like I just didn't believe it. Like I remember when she was like a little munchkin, and like now she's going to junior high school, and it's like. It's honestly, I think when I had April, she saved my life. She changed the trajectory of my life. And so when I see her go through milestones like that, it's just like, wow, like we've made it this far. Okay. Guess what? When kids are little, if you give them a, a handful of pennies, they're happy. You put a dollar in their hand and they're like, I don't want this. <laughs> it's just right. like, it's just but if you have five pennies, you think you got so, and they're like, I got money. <laughs> you guys are getting ready to go to you get ready to go to junior high school. You're gonna love it. What's you wore your shirt. Let me hey, try to fill the, this hole. I put it the right way. Why are Don't you? judge me. Oh, you feel the I didn't judge you. Oh, that's see. Right, right here. From right from here? Yeah. <laughs> right here. A whole head cut? It's a whole head cut. Well, bring his head back at least. Bring the head back. Bring his head back. Save the head. Right. And we can we sit it next a, to us on the couch and watch Boss yes. Baby. We can put it in a glass bottle and then we can put it and we can put it in the center of the table so you always be with us. That's so yeah. Gross. All right. It's actually very disgusting because then blood would be just filling it up. No, nah, we would. No, nah, we drain it. Yeah, we right. uh, drain it. Uh, or we could freeze his head at night so it'll be nice and good and solid in the morning. Yeah. Why oh, you watch too much? You watch too much candy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What's that? Uh, what's Close. that Black Mirror? That's. Right. Oh, that's yeah, sure. <laughs> We joke a lot. Our jokes are actually not always good. They're terrible, actually. And Caden is very serious, and we try to help him laugh at life and make him, like, kind of look at the lighter side of things, even when it's just really inappropriate and terrible. Mm -hmm. Then it'll be a nice, we could keep his head for a good while if we froze it every night. Mm -hmm. But would his eyes be open or closed? Because that's when it gets creepy. Well, if his eyes open, then we can see his nice eyelashes. <laughs> you don't think you're ready for a haircut? <laughs> no. Yeah. Maybe a shape up. No. Yes. Um, it's, we're not proud of it. <laughs> Come, let me do this fidget spinner on your head. I'm out to get a haircut. For the, we, we, got the, we got the queue on Saturday. You ready for the queue? I have a queue. Now you got it. What's the code? Because the two pieces are missing. <laughs> you can't button. smile. Okay, go back again. <laughs> Poor kid. You have a ring around his nose. <laughs> ring around him. You need to get the other piece to do it on the head. Yeah, it's the piece that you broke, right? I know I broke that somewhere. Take it, Kaden. Where's the house from? How you do that? This, I, when I was in um, the Bahamas, I put a scarf on my Is it from? No, no, not, not from where we went. Um, swimming. But I put a scarf on my head the first night, and the knot was right here. And it was tight, but I was like, oh, I'll I'm just, just going to sleep through it. Yeah, and now I have a, a bruise. It's mm. black, right? And even your crown is 
creating something on your forehead. Well, that's just that's just an indentation. What? Why you want to say my crown? <laughs> my headband. Oh, headband. No. So we're watching. We're watching while, while y'all working. We're not watching anything. Yeah, no? right. We're talking. Maybe we, babe. Maybe we can put like some more paper on the same music and and do. I can get my towel and put the music. You're not going to see some more paper on the table so that you can... So we can just paint on the table. So it's going to be like arts and crafts in the dining room. No, I thought you were talking you don't want this mixture because... I don't want the mixture, but look at where we at. We, we have... You got to paint and...